Miami is making headway to becoming the second biggest financial district after New York. Aligning with the Downtown Miami Development Authority's aim of making the district the epicenter of the Americas, the area is witnessing the undertaking of massive development projects. The aim is to make the area a business, social and cultural hub in America by 2025. With the likes of the Miami World Center and a $5 billion renovation to the Miami airport, the city was in the process of building 20 skyscrapers in the year 2022 alone. However, amidst all these mega projects, one skyscraper stands out in the limelight with its unorthodox design and the sheer height of the construction which is paving the way to make it the tallest building in Miami. Before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and share the video as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. The Waldorf Astoria is set to become a 100-story residential landmark in the city of downtown Miami. Consisting of nine cubes stacked atop each other, the skyscraper will reach its pinnacle at 1,049 feet, envisioning the possibility of living through the clouds. The billion-dollar property will consist of 360 private residences as well as a further 205 guest rooms and suites in the Hilton Five Star Hotel. The state-of-the-art luxury property is located at Biscayne Boulevard, the longest road in Miami, overseeing South Beach, Freedom Tower, and Flamingo Park. Not only is this construction making headway to becoming an iconic landmark in terms of dimensions, but also as a combination of modern design and smart home technology, infused together with hotel-grade amenities. With interesting features with regards to design, architecture, and construction, the Waldorf Astoria makes a bold statement as a brand of global hospitality in the thriving megapolis of Miami. The Waldorf Astoria is the flagship brand of the Hilton's portfolio of hotels and resorts. The brand name dates all the way back to 1893, when the original hotel was built in Manhattan, New York. The hotel was purchased by the Hilton Hotels Corporation in 1972. The company built the Waldorf Astoria Jetta Kazar Al Shark in 2006, which became the brand's first international property with many other global establishments following suite. The Waldorf Astoria Miami was initiated in 2021, with the groundbreaking happening in summer 2022. The project is expected to be completed in 2026, which upon completion will make its mark as Miami's tallest skyscraper. The unusual design of the Waldorf Astoria Miami is to be credited to Cedar Suarez Architects and Carlos Ott who stated that they intended to create an architectural structure that defies the laws of gravity. The skyscraper consists of nine glass cubes that are stacked off axis to the center. This rotation and placement of the cubes allows for a unique view of the surrounding from each block and it also serves as an optical illusion, making the building appear taller than it actually is. Cubes 1 to 3 are reserved for the Hilton Hotel. This includes all the hotel facilities of dining, rooms, suites, and function spaces. Cube 4 consists of studio apartments, and Cube 5, 6, and 7 consist of larger apartments. The Sky Collection condos are placed in Cube 8, while the topmost Cube 9 is solely dedicated for the penthouses. The building consists of a total of 17 elevators, of which 10 are reserved for the residential towers and 4 are solely for service. The site features both private and semi-private elevators along with each condo unit being fully furnished. The interior design of the building is carried out by BAMO, the luxury hospitality and residential interior design firm renowned for their work in the Millennium Towers San Francisco and the Lady Candy Super Yacht. In a further attempt to promote exclusivity, the project has opened arms to the penthouse buyers to suggest a floor plan for their unit. They are presented with the opportunity to sit with the constructors and designers to tailor make their residency allowing for bespoke design in each of the penthouses. 
The project is expected to cost in the vicinity of $970 million with $426 million identified solely for hard construction. The prices of a three-bedroom residence starts at $4.5 million, while a four-bedroom apartment costs $8.5 million and above. Approximately 85% of the units have been sold as of October 2022. Buyers were flocking to get their hands on a property at the Astoria, even before the project broke ground or laid a cornerstone. The base of the Waldorf Astoria will feature a 10-story parking area. The levels above will be fitted with retail outlets and hotel amenities such as spas, fitness centers, ballrooms, meeting rooms, and much more. The homeowners at the building will also be privy to an a la carte menu from the Hilton Hotel downstairs, which can be utilized around the clock. All units in the Waldorf Astoria are smart homes, where aspects such as lighting, heating, music, and electronic devices can be controlled through a mobile phone. Perhaps the pinnacle of the building is their penthouses. With 12-foot glass panes running from ceiling to floor, each penthouse is 11,000 square feet in size. They include private pools, wine cellars, a safe room, private movie theaters, and more. The project is developed by Greybrook Reality Partners and Property Markets Group. PMG is reputed for their involvement in the construction of many high-profile condos including the Burj Al Arab in Dubai and New York's 111 West 57th Street, which is the world's skinniest skyscraper. Due to the Waldorf Astoria following an unorthodox design, the constructors needed to use additional reinforcement to ensure rigidity and stability. This was achieved by running the pilings of the core of the building 180 feet deep into the ground, thereby ensuring that the building has a strong foundation. This was paramount to the construction as the center holds the building's elevators and it also needed a rigid design to withstand the adverse weather the region of Florida is notorious for. Also, to mitigate the risk of the building bending and swaying due to wind pressure, the engineers needed to build a solid foundation and further reinforce the structural integrity. The Waldorf Astoria uses half-silvered mirror glass in its facade. This glass is transparent from the inside allowing for a panoramic view of downtown Miami, while from the exterior it acts as a mirror, reflecting excessive light and also aiding to cool the interior space. Apart from achieving the shimmering aesthetic, the glass assists to fill almost all areas of the building with natural light. The glass used in the building is double paned, meaning that there is a space between two sheets of glass which is filled with gas to make the paint more durable to weather conditions and also acts as a sound proofing agent. The use of glass also makes the building eco-friendlier as compared to other buildings made of material that are not environmentally sustainable. The Waldorf Astoria is sailing smoothly towards becoming an iconic monument in the neon streets of Miami. Its innovative design is guaranteed to stand out across the landscape, and even more so vertically with its ambitions of becoming Miami's tallest skyscraper. The combination of the physically gigantic facade together with the futurist designs, technology and amenities is guaranteed to bring in both visitors and investors to the city of Miami, consequently driving the city to becoming the financial, cultural and social hub that it intends to become. What do you think of this construction? Comment your thoughts below. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video.